Andy Johnson. We are looking at assessment and assessing lessons. Recently, someone asked unto me, someone in my online forum, they said, Dr. Johnson, do you need to assess every lesson? Does every lesson plan need to be assessed? The short answer is no. However, since I'm just an old literacy professor, I'm going to swim in my own lane. This pertains only to literacy lessons. Not every literacy lesson needs to be assessed. It may be different in science, math, social studies, or gym class. Maybe every gym class needs to be assessed to make sure students are learning. But let's take a look at theoretic, uh, theoretical models and assumptions. This has much to do with our view of assessment. If you adhere to the theoretical model, the phonological processing model, sometimes this is called the simple view of reading, that reading is simply sounding out words, then maybe uh, assessing every lesson might make sense because you'd have just a whole bunch of sounding out word instruction. You want to make sure students are getting all the little subparts. This is based on this Humpty Dumptyan approach that you can break all the little pieces, uh, break it into little pieces, a skill, a complex process such as reading, break it into little parts and help students put it together again piece by piece. However, all the king's horses and all the king's men simply could not put Humpty together again. Here's this Humpty Dumpty an idea that you teach each one of these little bitty teeny parts and you make sure students master every one of these little teeny parts and you assess every lesson to make sure they do it. And when they have mastered all these little teeny parts and put it together, then they'll be able to read. Yup, yup, yup. That's how it occurs. Here's another scope and sequence chart, again, based on this same idea that you teach all these little parts in this same order to all students because they are standardized products, of course, moving along on a conveyor belt. Not really. The neurocognitive model of reading says reading is not sounding out words, it's creating meaning with print. We use what's in our head to understand. Matter of fact, 10 times more information flows from our head down than the page up. And we use three cueing systems to recognize words, semantic, syntax, and phonological. So we have activities to develop all three cueing systems. And we want to assess as well as diagnose. When we do this, we focus on the big three fluency, word identification, and comprehension. So I'm assessing these, not the little uh, subparts. Well, how do you identify? How do you assess word identification, sayeth you? Well, of course, running record is the best way in an authentic reading context. When you assess, it's like soil samples. You don't scoop up the whole land, the whole lawn to get a sense of what that soil is in lawn. You take little scoops here and there. The same with assessment. You take little bits here and there every week or two or three, three weeks, depending. And here's why another reason why you don't assess every lesson. You tend to assess only that which can be assessed. So before you get me wrong, before you send me a whole bunch of emails and stuff, it is not the what of assessment in which there are differing views, in which I have differing views from my uh, uh, co-workers, or not co-workers, my co colleagues in other fields and other places and schools out there, all right? It's not the what of assessment. We all believe that assessment is important. It is the how we assess, the what we assess, and the how much we assess. You should not assess every lesson. Put another way, every lesson should not be assessed. May be different in social studies in gym class. I'm just an old literacy professor, but in literacy, not every lesson needs to be assessed. The question asked then is, well, how do you know if learning has occurred? That's the wrong question to ask. The question is, how do you know if teaching has occurred? Look for instances of good teaching, best practice, and the learning will follow. Yes, you assess, but not every single lesson. 
Thermometers are great, but they do nothing to cure sickness or illness. Teaching methods are what we use to enhance learning. Constant assessment assumes you just run them through the machine again until they get it. If they did not master the short E, well, we'll run them through the machine again until they master the short E. We care nothing of their ability to create meaning with print or recognize words in authentic reading situations. As well, assessing every lesson is a waste of valuable teaching, learning, and reading practice. Conservative estimate, let's just say you taught six lessons a day and you spent five minutes with each lesson assessing, that's just a conservative estimate. That would be 30 minutes of valuable teaching, learning, and reading practice time. You could spend that time actually reading good books. Imagine that if every kid in America spent 30 minutes a day reading good books. Now, the typical daily reading class consists of some or all of this. Not simply direct instruction, but there are authentic reading and writing experiences. Reading for real purposes, writing students thoughts and ideas, lots of daily reading practice books that they have selected. You create social interaction and conversations around good books. This is how literacy develops. You have activities to develop all three queuing systems. These are not instruction. Here, they're activities to develop the neural pathways used to recognize words. That's different than word identification. You have specific strategy instruction for word identification. If you don't recognize a word, here are the steps that you take. As well, you have strategy, you have specific direct instruction for study skill strategies and comprehension skills. This is what you do to comprehend a textbook, as well as activities to develop word knowledge or vocabulary. Now, Tell me this, riddle me this, Batman. Are you really going to assess every single one of these? Are you going to do it every day? I hope not. A little sanity here, please. Assessment is one part of teaching and learning. It is not teaching and learning. Imagine that we can actually learn without assessment, and we can teach without assessment. Not every lesson or lesson plan needs to be or should be assessed. You don't need to assess every lesson. And I don't care if you're a special ed teacher, a gen ed teacher, a high school teacher, a middle school teacher. Not every lesson needs to be or should be assessed.